Hello, my name is Michael. And my name is Hayley. And welcome to the first Just Made Game for 2019. Well, you know what they say? New year, new game. So... <laughs> Dead memes. It's good. Okay, so Haley and I have had a couple of weeks off over the Christmas New Year period, which has been so nice, lovely, serene, and now we're really quite excited to get back into just making the. Oh, it's good. So we spent December working on the intro animation. We took some of the images that I'd already made and started changing them up with a really sweet color palette. It gives it a really distinct and brooding kind of look. Now, even though I studied art, I've never been great with color palettes. So Mike is a whiz at this and he's done a really good job coming up with a great color palette for this animation. For our inspiration for this, we were looking at some old games like Loom, Monkey Island 1 and Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. There's some really great pixel art and a really great use of colour. Working on the intro animation is really slow going, so it's quite time consuming work, but it's going to look amazing when it's done. We had a really quiet Christmas at home with just the two of us, and then we went off camping for New Year's with John, who is half of our amazing music team, his lovely partner Monica, and the rest of his family. And then we had a really lovely surprise visit from my parents who drove nearly 2,000 k's from Queensland to come and visit us. It's always hard to get back into work after a break, but I'm actually feeling really refreshed and looking forward to jumping back into work on Commandment. Something that I'm going to try and focus on this year and something that's really hard when you work from home is trying to make people realise that, yes, although I do work from home, it is still work. It is still my job. People seem to have a hard time understanding that even though I work from home, I can't just drop what I'm doing and hang out. So this year I'm going to try a bit harder to make people understand that this is a job, I am at work even though my office happens to be in my house. It's weird, I get so many comments that are like, oh yeah but you work from home so it's not really a job and that attitude kind of bugs me a bit. So I've been having a lovely time working on the, the background plates for the intro animation that we're going to be using for Commandment. Now it was really fun coming up with a, a nice colour palette as well. Sort of my dream colour palette this, so it's, so it sort of takes my, my favourite elements of like EGA graphics and um, kind of just uses the bits I like, which are all the blacks and dark blues and bright oranges and things like that. I'd love to make an entire game in this exact palette but it, that would probably be an absolute nightmare to play because everything would kind of blend together. But, yeah, everyone gets these inclinations to just as soon as you're halfway through a project, ditch it and start on something new. Well, that's me right now. I want to make a, a film noir detective game with this colour palette. It's been lovely doing some animation because it's a break from doing code, so I like doing code some of the time. Um, I can do it but it's not my favourite thing in the world. But I really do enjoy doing a bit of art as well. Lately, it's been sort of nothing but code, really, that seems like I've been doing. So it's nice to break it up with a, with a bit of art. But the problem will be that when I go back to the code, and I can just tell this is going to happen right now, I'm going to go back to the code in a couple of weeks, and I'm not going to have any idea as to where I was up to. And I'm going to look through my code with my comments, and none of it's going to make any sense to me because I was in a totally different place then when I was writing it out and now I'm in art mode and none of it is going to make any logical sense to me so that's going to be a fun adjustment period but that's just what happens. This used to happen all the time to me on Bannerman as well. I'd do some animations, uh, take a couple of weeks to do that, then go back to doing the code and I'd have no idea what I was doing and then swap around again. 2019 I'm really looking forward to actually getting Commandment finished so hopefully, hopefully we can get this done and released or very close to release sometime this year and then we can push it out and have a lovely time and then start working on something else and then keep going like this because that would be my absolute dream is that that's something that I can do for the rest of my working days is just make games so. Thank you for watching this episode of Just Make Game. If you like these videos and want to support the channel, check out our Patreon. There is a link in the video description. Age of funding for this episode of Just Make Game was provided by Vin Hill, Raf Bluffin, Martin Schoenborg, 
Lurkin McClurkin, Ivan Makarovich, Dead Care, Connor Bowen, Bumper Car Studios, Ben Kersnowski, Alan Pask, and viewers like you. Oh, that, that's it. That's all. Bye. Hello, my name's Lucas. And I'm Sion. We're friends of Mike and Haley, and welcome to another episode of Just, Just Make, Make Dinner. Dinner. When we first started making this carbonara 10 months ago, I never would have dreamed we'd have come this far by now. It's hard to fathom that back in March, I was living on cuppa soups and shouting, who the fuck is pancetta at a recipe printout, but here we are. The carbonara is definitely a much more ambitious project than our last meal, dumplings, which are still available on Steam by the way. Uh, I've been working mainly this month on the onions, redoing them, because I felt that uh, the onions that I prepared last month are just not looking right now. Um, looking back at them, they're just not right for this carbonara. Uh, I think they're just a little, little too fine. So I've, I've recut them a little more chunky to give the carbonara a bit more character. I also took a crack this month at simplifying the menu because I think it had too many elements and I think it was time well spent. Uh, this month... <laughs> this month I've been mainly working on the HUD. I, um, I copped a bit of pushback from Lucas initially. Uh, he said uh, that a HUD wasn't necessary for a carbonara dinner or any dinner at all but I made it anyway and it's something I'm very happy with and I'm showing it to him every day on the hour and I think he's coming around. Stop working on the fucking HUD! It's not a part of the dinner! So the other thing I've been working on this month is the mushrooms for the carbonara. Uh, originally we just went to the store and we bought some. Oh, thank you. And uh, just visually they don't come across as something exciting and well, we want something a bit more special. So I went out, open source some, uh, found these near a fence, um, and you know what they say, mushrooms from the store, visual bore, mushrooms from the fence, it probably depends. That's it for this, stop hutting. That's it for this month's episode of Just Make Dinner. Thanks for watching, and if you had the sound on, thanks for listening. We'll see you next month. I'm so hungry. Me too. I can't pick that up. I told you, I can't help you till you bring me the saucepan. It's a saucepan. I can't, I can't, I can't pick that up.